Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. As you can see, I am not Jansen, but this is the Jansen Show. <laughs> um, so we are glad to be back. We were gone last week, and uh, we have some new guests. So why don't you do me a favor, introduce yourselves. Now, you guys have a couple of businesses within a business, right? Why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Okay, so I'm Jennifer Spizak. Nice to meet everybody. I am the co-owner of Beauty Inc. and Body Bliss. I do the spa packages and massage side of the business. And then I also own the clothing store, The Rack. Super small right now, but I like to think of it as a future big business. Perfect. All right, I'm Liddell Green, and I do permanent makeup, microneedling, and henna. And I work at Beauty Inc. and Body Bliss. And um, we started this business almost two years ago now. Mm -hmm. um, it's been super fun. We've been very busy. So you started busy. right as the COVID was hitting. Yes. Perfect timing. <laughs> right. <in the> <laughs> 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 but it was worth the risk because we got so many people since everything was closed. That's it was awesome. really cool. Yeah. It actually worked out well because we had the time to get ready, um, slowly open. and. Um, so what did you do before you did, you did this? Well, I worked at the spa at Laughlin Ranch for a few years. So when Liddell approached me about going into business with her, I said, yeah, but I don't want to just do massage. I want to be able to do spa packages because that was the fun stuff at Laughlin Ranch. We did like mud wraps, um, body scrubs, and massage. So I have a shower at my shop that I like to use. And we get a lot of beautiful ladies coming in for my packages, which is cool. Yep. So it's like a spa atmosphere. And um, before... I was at the dentist office and um, that really wasn't my passion, but I really liked the job and I met a lot of wonderful people there. And then um, I worked for Clinique when I was 17. And so just, just right around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I worked there for like four five years um, about, and then I worked for Estee Lauder. So um, I've always been a skincare person and makeup. So it's a pretty smooth transition really for you guys to kind of bring it all together, right? Oh yes. So where's the rack fit into all of that? Okay, so the rack started because I had saved some money and I was thinking of what, how I could invest it. I wanted something more hands-on and I love our community. So I thought something that the community kind of needed. So like, um, casual wear, quality casual wear. So you know, wear. we did a uh, community spotlight out there, so if you want to go, you can go check that out. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> but we wanted to carry like um, beach wear, stuff like that, brands like Quicksilver, Roxy. Do you have a lot of um, like walk-in traffic or is it mostly online? Do you have a lot of people like come in and browse? Mostly, what, what do you guys have? Mostly people that know us or know me and they come in, and, but we do get some walk-in traffic for the gun store next to us. But I think a better Gun location. Gun stores in the uh, fashion. That's go hand in hand. <laughs> they do. No, we do get a <laughs> lot gotta of walk-ins from clothes. that. That's right. <laughs> well, she's you know just you're starting. in a safe location. That's good. Yeah, it's just <laughs> starting. So internet, the online, and Facebook, and everything. Yeah, is sure. but I really wanted something that my kids could be involved in. So I kind of wanted to teach them a little bit about entrepreneurship. So that's kind of where like the younger clothing came into play and. My son works there quite a bit, and he helps me with it. So I assume it's been pretty rewarding then. You know, you can't really do that. I can't bring my kids with me to work at Findlay, although <laughs> I've dragged them here a couple times. Yeah. Uh, so that's got to be a nice, rewarding, unique situation, huh? For sure, for sure. What's, yeah. what's been the most surprising part about getting into this industry for yourselves? The support from the community oh, yeah. blows my mind when I think about that's people awesome. going out of their yep. way to come shop with us, to come spend time with us. We have the most amazing clients. I mean, I love going Definitely. to work. Yeah. What is the thing that people get the most when they come in there? Like, what is the, like, you know, for us, we sell Chevy Silverados. Like, that is our bread and butter right. product. What is the what is the go-to thing when people come in? Eyebrows. Brow, the, the brow world's a and whole other world. The, like. the powder Eyebr brow. But yeah, eyebrows, and then hers is the spa packages. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't have any eyebrows, so I don't have to worry about it. We a, could hook you up. It's a non-issue. Get me all filled in there. Yeah, we'll hook it. Everybody wants eyebrows. Um, that's my number one <laughs> selling point, and then I normally – end up getting them to do um, lip blush. Um, eyeliner is kind of coming along. 
Um, henna is a nice way for people to come in and meet me with the consultation. So it only lasts two weeks. So, so it's I'm going to be that guy <laughs> real okay. quick here. I don't know what half of this stuff is. I know. So <laughs> I know most of your clients do, but you might have some people that are a little bit more like me than like you. So what, what well, is all that tell stuff? Tell us about microneedling because that oh, is I a big hit. Yes. I didn't even talk about microneedling. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So let's just go down the list of things that I do. Mm -hmm. um, I do microneedling because it is needles. Um, it kind of goes with the tattoo, um, beauty tattoo. So um, microneedling is a skin rejuvenation. Um, it's very good for your skin. It brings collagen, helps with fine lines. It's for moisture. Um, so everything, you know, all over skincare. You get um, a good glow from it after. Yeah, Jen likes and it. And even a skin tone and smaller pores. Yep. So, so I'm going to make cool. you guys cringe. I hope you don't follow me on social media, but I have the like <laughs> five in one hair, body, car, <laughs> boat wash is my skincare <laughs> treatment. So it's the all in one product. <laughs> yeah, I knocked it all oh out. I got it out of zone. It's really nice. You, you know? use the boat wash for your <laughs> <laughs> for, for your face wash. For That's what men do. Why I glow like this. Yeah, yeah. wow. So <laughs> yeah, see the guys do a good job and they look fine. I don't know why. We need all this stuff. This is, but a, this is a <laughs> right here. I just <laughs> cover up most of my face and then put a hat on. So Perfect. as long as this part's in good shape, I'm That's, good to go. Okay, number one is sunscreen. So you're using the hat. So it, I always try to get all my customers to use sunscreen. The hat is purely yeah. and, uh, to hide the hair. So <laughs> there I'm about you go. for a haircut. So. <laughs> but okay, so let's, um, the next thing that I do is henna. It only lasts two weeks and it is a good way to see if you like permanent brows or if you want to do that. Um, or people just come in for henna. They're not ready for it. They're younger or um there have commitment problems now. <laughs> you want to try so the it out. Big. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just a fun way to see how I would I do a brow mapping and uh, clean them up, make them look nice, mm -hmm. um, and people come like every three weeks for that, or they'll decide for um, a ha permanent makeup in between that time or whatever you know. I it's like up to the them. Brows. I like going We just did Jen's fun. the other day, yeah. so I it finally got good. her in the chair. <laughs> We're so busy <laughs> that I try to get on her schedule, and then something happens, and I'm like, I'm hurting because she's so good. Business. We're yeah. our own best clients <laughs> I know. for each yeah. other. You got to practice on someone. Yeah, right. <laughs> she's so she does such amazing massages. Aww, so thank um, you. I always want to be in her chair. Um, well, her. Her bed. Mine, mine is the chair. Her bed, her chair. She's getting table. weird here. We get table. The table. There we oh, go. That okay. Kinky. So um. let's talk about our new service we're going to be offering, which is body cavitation. <laughs> and so our dear friend Nancy's coming in, and she's going to do like a weight loss thing where yes. she uses radio frequency to kill fat cells, and then they go into the lymphatic system, and it's a good weight loss treatment, so we're excited to work with her. And you said that's a new service that you'll be offering pretty soon. When do you expect, expect that About to come the in? next month or so. So, so, yeah. so there you go, something all new in the next, uh, especially right in time for summer, right? Hey, yeah. yeah, and our, sh our shop it's looks really nice. <laughs> our shop looks really nice because we put in a new room for her, and um, mm -hmm. I'm excited. And guess what? I'm doing it today, so what? <laughs> I get to try Ooh. it. <laughs> Shout oh, out man. to weight loss. Try you before you out. We could have had a whole uh, <laughs> experiment going on. Here. Right, I, before and after. I just did Nancy's brows, so um, I didn't even share it yet. I've been so busy. I've been working every day. I haven't had a day off for like two weeks. So Girl, don't sleep, right? No, <laughs> nothing sleep. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Microneedling, <laughs> eyeliner, brows, lips. Um, it's just been it's been fun. Um, I can't believe how busy I've been. Jen's yeah, been busy. It's good, yeah. Gwen, oh. by the way, I wanted to tell you that Gwen calls them power brows. Power <laughs> Instead See? of powder brows, I'm like, that could be for the guys. The power brows. It, it's right around the corner, guys. We're getting power brows. I yep. know, so. You're getting power brows. It's a new thing. I'm, it, I have to get eyebrows first, Jeff, before they, I worry about power brows. True. Guys <laughs> really do get eyebrows. I have not seen any clients yet. I, I'm Listen, not sure. We have a few uh, very handsome gentlemen that work for us, and they take good care of their uh, eyebrows, and they're getting waxed. They pluck them in the whole oh, yeah. Yeah. They do a great I job, think it so. looks nice, but I'm just, um, I don't know. I'm not offering that service right now. <laughs> I like 
So, man, Jen, you said uh, that you actually really prefer when people do the packages, the spot packages. What's, yeah. what's the most popular one you offer? Is well, it like an all day thing? Is like takes a couple hours. Um, I like it because you get the body kind of just gets a little bit more prepared for the massage. So you get kind of a deeper relaxation. Um, so before I had this, well, I still have a package where it's a mud wrap, a body scrub, and a massage. Um, but lately, my hot stone massage has been taking off. I don't know. It's I cool because it has the minerals in it. In the hot stones, I use pink Himalayan sea salt stones. Say that five times fast. You say it again, I'd be impressed. Right? right? <laughs> so that one's really cool because people love hot stones. And then um, we finish with the body scrub and then they shower off. And so it's just a really nice, relaxing So again, experience. I'm going to be that guy. You just tell me you take hot stones. Yes. And massage people with them? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> They're hot. They make you relax. They Not warm too up hot. the muscles. <laughs> It, it's awesome. I, I like it. That was mm -hmm. a good service. And she just places them on there if you're back. So it just kind of relaxes you. It's warm. and Yeah. And yep. Finish with the scrub. And so you get all those minerals and exfoliation. Yep. So that's your most popular now. What's like the uh, Grand Slam package? What's the biggest thing you offer? Oh, okay. If somebody wants to really spoil their lady, gentlemen, this is a good idea. So I'm this is right my now. selling Listen point because <laughs> I get so many guys buying the gift cards and they come in. I'm like, I have this one. I have this one. And then I have the best one. And so they always go for that. But it's my luxury package includes um, lymphatic drainage with dry brushing, aromatherapy, the scrub, the wrap, and an 80 minute massage. So you just get everything. All in mm -hmm. one. So I don't know how much is something like that. That one runs for $180. Seems like a good deal. I'm just it saying. is a good deal. Especially like, for how much everything else costs these days. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> My prices are very reasonable. I just do it because I love it. Um, but of course, I need to make money while I do it. But it's way comparable to Loft and Ranch. So, so it's funny you say that. Back <laughs> in my married days, that was my go-to gift was the Loft and Ranch you package. Can't go wrong. And I would spend this whole thing, and then you look at what it actually was. You're like that's not that much stuff, <laughs> it's like you know. A so you get a lot of stuff with yours. Like that's a pretty good. No, deal. Yeah. it is true because like you'll, they'll write it all down, and you you know you feel rushed a little bit too. So. This is more personal, it I feel is, like. yeah. So where do you guys see, I know you're bringing in a new service. Where do you see your business going in the next two years? For, do you want to answer well, that? I would, I would like to answer that um, in relation to the rack because what I want to be like is like a beach combers or something like that. I don't know if you've been out there in Havasu, um, but I kind of want like an all-in-one beach shop. Um, so eventually I want to carry like vans, three flip flops, stuff like that. Um, Four flip flops. That's what I'm going towards. Yeah. One day. <laughs> My son got me hooked on the uh, slides. You know, you just slide your feet in those Nike sandals. It's they're just they, not the same as yeah, those the kids flip flops. Love those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they're comfortable. These kids are crazy. Socks right. and sandals. It's just Oh, my. When you comment, my son wears Crocs, and I'm like, for real? They're so, so ugly. <laughs> so Stop. you need to sell Crocs, apparently, oh, because no. I go to the shoe store, yeah. and I tell my daughter, I said, sweetie, you know, you're growing like crazy. You got to get some shoes that fit. Right. Da, da, da. She goes straight to the Crocs. No. And this kid who's worked there, he's like, he knew he had me. Got her hooked up with these Crocs, and he starts bringing out the little uh, decoration mm -hmm. thing. Oh and I yep. was like, you got to be kidding me. So my daughter walks around mm -hmm. with Crocs with, like, food <laughs> on them. A bunch <laughs> of add-ons. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing around. I've ever seen. I know. Them, so. My yeah. daughter has some very colorful ones. They don't match anything, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's got the high-top Converse. I'm like, where did these come from? Oh I have no they're idea. That, they're platform and they're high-top. I'm like, no. Where, it was a very I mean, harsh I realization to realize <laughs> I'm the old guy now. Like what <laughs> happened here? In my day, you guys are it's Crocs like, and sandals and like comfort <laughs> clothes, I guess. Now we're yeah. Well, well, they like to bums, wear pajamas to bums. school too. No. Apparently, that's a thing. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is a thing. Whatever. It needs I'm to really glad my son isn't going to see this video. No. He might. He will. Mm. He will. He will. He will. Yeah. He'll be the angry face reaction to the video. That'll be my son. He's Dislike. like, Dad, why did you have to say that? Yeah, he's like, Dad, you're just not cool. Just it's all right. With it. It's the style. I so know. we don't yeah. know what is in so, style anymore. True. You know, <laughs> I don't want to talk about how old I am, but in my day, we had some pretty weird styles too. So I just kind of think yeah. there was a time where we wore gigantic mm -hmm. jeans and had all had the skater haircut with hair yes. down to here. That's so true. I was trying to remember that the other day when my my daughter bought some weird pants, and I said, oh, I 
think we did wear something similar. White, so I got to just yeah. stop because yeah. I was like, no, you're not ever. <laughs> bell bottoms were a thing in junior high. Yeah, we like thought we were cool. Flower yeah. print bell bottoms. I oh, mean, yeah. Big don't deal. Started, so. I, well, mm -hmm. They should just bring back the flowers at least. I mean, that was <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that I, was I, cute. I like the bell bottoms. Huh? <laughs> the flowers are cute. Yeah. So if you want to carry any uh, weird stuff, the kids will buy it. Yeah, I right. should get into it. You got to start the trend, though. I'll put James in charge of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, now, I know you said you're next to a gun store. Where are you guys located? Okay, so it's 5287 Highway 95, which is across from Valley View Hospital, and it's north of Ron's Tires. Okay, so that's the way I give directions. I'm like, you know that landmark? It's right around yep. the corner from there. Slots. Yes. Slots is our... <laughs> Slots. <laughs> There's slot machines out front, and so... Look for the slot machines. Sometimes. I hate uh, saying I know, that, I hate saying I say it, Ron's but. Tires. <laughs> So is there anything happens like seasonally, like in the winter, do you guys change your business any? Does your, your book of business change versus as we're coming into the spring and summer months? Is that like a seasonal thing that you guys well, adjust for? Well, for me, I don't do tons of permanent makeup in the summer because of the sun and yeah. the swimming. Um, so I try to advertise more and before people are going to be at the river and in the sun. So but they, it doesn't take properly well uh, microneedling is not good to be in the sun right after so yeah, you're um, gonna be sweating after you get it I, done i mean it's some people <laughs> don't go to the river some people don't you know do all that so it's fine but the people that are at the river normally they stop doing their microneedling they stop doing brows and lips and everything at that point because we need a certain amount of time to heal and not be in the sun We're not willing to give up that river weekend yeah. well i wouldn't but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would say seasonally, the only thing that changes would be like maybe my promotions. Whereas people don't yeah. get the hot stones, of course. In the no, oh they yeah, just came in from the hot stones, <laughs> they're so they're right. like, yeah, hot I'm stone good. I had enough hot stones for the day. <laughs> Isn't yes. popular in the summer. Mm -hmm. What yeah. about uh, as far as clothing and stuff? Is that you bring in a lot more stuff, or are you pretty much uh, like beachy stuff year round? I will be. Um, I opened in October, which kind of was a strange time because I had to have. I, what I'm going to be is more like for like a summer shop, but I had to carry like hoodies and stuff for yeah. the time of the year. But well, it's a weird, <laughs> it's a weird place out here because it was like two weeks ago. I took my boat out; it was 84 degrees so or something, nice. and then yeah. we had this two weeks of terrible weather. Mm -hmm. So it goes back and luck. forth. So you do need a sweater with your bathing suit. No, just kidding. <laughs> so there were people out like that. Like I was out there. I was 80 degrees was great yep. for me, but some people are out there in a hoodie and like bathing suits. You know, might as so, well. You know, hey. Go, go get them both. Right. It's the wind that messes oh, with us here because it actually be really nice. So I tell you, I got lectured yesterday because I was complaining. I almost said a different word for that. Uh, <laughs> I was complaining about the wind. And they're like, yes. oh, my God, you can't say the W word. And I said, oh I have gosh. avoided it for like years and it's still windy so give me yeah, the matter it's not Clearly the word someone else is screwing it up it's not yeah me, so someone else just like it. don't <laughs> wash your car because it's going to rain don't you know whatever it doesn't matter well, we should just keep washing our cars so it'll rain, rain. <laughs> it just sprinkles yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't well, rain. it gets we, it dirty so how annoying is it when you have to wash your car after you just washed it and it rains just enough to make it dirty <laughs> I'd very annoying. You know what? I just want it to rain, so. We have to do it for 300 cars. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. we come in, we're like, oh, the lot wow. looks great. And then we get this weird wind and the, the dust and then the rain. And then you have to spend I can three see days you. washing cars. That would 300. be wow. a bad yeah. thing for you guys. Oh. So I shouldn't wish that anymore, In the car but. world, it's like <laughs> the most annoying thing. You have to do a lot wash. We call it, you know, got to do a lot wash today. We do it for 300 cars. So. Well, you know, yeah. people should understand that it spit instead of rain yeah, <laughs> no, <they laughs> all over not. the cars so. they just go what's wrong with this car it looks like a leopard like it yep. looks terrible so that's what happens right so. any other uh things you guys are getting into what do you guys do outside of work do you have any uh okay i've been playing pickleball and my son has been coming with me because it's the perfect time of year and we only get a little short window and so i've been doing that and then what have you been up to mm. oh yeah <laughs> I do like my uh, wine trips, um, but we <laughs> are out of a toy right now. So we have not been riding. Normally we like to be in the dirt. My husband loves the dirt. So um, yes, I have to get dirty sometimes and go riding, but we are, we are waiting for the speed UTV. So don't make fun of us. If anybody knows what that is. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, you it's, said it. Let's hear it. It's, the, <laughs> it's uh, Robbie Gordon's. 
speed UTV. He's making it, and we uh, bought it two years ago, and it's not here you're on yet. The way and we lesson. sold our Can-Am early, um, oh. but we're excited because it looks very nice. It's going to be wonderful once we get it. I've so. been watching him build it on this live. Mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. I have to watch it every Wednesday yeah. because I am involved in this. That's we cool. uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. uh, we get that. We have had people who have ordered cars from us, so we know it's been super mm -hmm. frustrating. And you know, normally you used to order cars six to eight weeks. You know, showed right. up in your driveway. Yeah. And uh, we have people who waited, you know, almost a year. It's unheard of. You know. Like, right. Yeah. No, that's super frustrating. and I think that that's why work has been number one for me and my husband right now because we're. You don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a choice. Yes. You're available. I'm available. Yeah. So but how'd you get into pickleball? Um, I don't even know where that started, honestly. It's been I've been playing oh my friend Shelly. Yeah, so we used to play together, but she hasn't been feeling so good. But I just think it's a it's fun sport. You're going to be way better than her when she comes back. Oh, that's all I've been training for. <laughs> I wake up at 6 a.m. Just pure dominance. And I get out there. No. <laughs> no one would come play with me at that time. But, yeah, it's just I probably fun. should try it. I don't even know what pickleball is. you got is. nothing better to do. <laughs> you don't know what you it don't is. Have your can you don't have a can yeah. I got nothing. It's Friends playing pickleball by herself against the wall, nobody. Well, I, it's fun because <laughs> yeah. it's challenging enough for James to beat me at it, but it's easy enough for me to play. So it's so a the good thing I like about pickleball is the court's not very big. Exactly. Okay. I'm not a big runner. No. <laughs> oh no. I if don't I'm do long and if I could like reach it and I'd be uh, not have to move very much, that'd be ideal for me. So I used to is go to the, the gym. Is that, <laughs> the one, yeah, is that what you're waiting for? Yeah, we are. Isn't it cute? <laughs> is that the <laughs> name of it, or is that what you named yours? Live, El Jefe. No. You're, That's you cool. ordered the El Jefe, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a, my favorite meal at some of these burrito places. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jefe. that one is... Um, the orange i don't know if that's the orange i'm confused it's now. a brighter orange yeah we we got to pick our colors so ours is green and blue and it's like yeah they have different colors it's all cool it's like it's all nice. out. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice. so you know what's funny is um you know i've known your husband for a long time and uh, we used to go to glamis a lifetime ago when the rhino first came out. Oh, yes. Wow. And that rhino was the coolest thing <laughs> in the it world. So and now we look at them now, yeah. like, what a yeah. piece of crap. Nobody, yeah. wants, Nobody a wants a rhino. Them. Oh, yeah. Those, you know, it, the cool people yeah, put a seat in the back of theirs. If you have like, a rhino, we don't, we do offend We don't hate rhinos. <laughs> well, We're no. just saying that things have gotten better since then. It's brought us to where we are today. So yeah, it sure. was a great idea. And it was made a great it better. idea. I bought one. I thought I was like the coolest guy oh, yeah. in the world, you know. So. Well, we should just buy one right now and go <laughs> tear that and do something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jeff, we got any questions? Anybody uh, got no. anything to say in there? Just a couple of your fans said they're stoked to see you on the show. Oh. They're like, how does uh. Shane not know what <laughs> eyebrows are? Yeah, right. <laughs> or What's uh, wrong with this guy? What is it, the Himalayan? Hot? Yes. Oh, does that's... somebody comment about that? Uh, no, I no? just no. You I just it remember. Up? I remembered you talking about it. Mm -hmm. It's the jam. I'm telling you. And the stones are pink, which shouldn't matter, but it just it's this cute. right so here. So is that the same? Uh, yep. Yeah. So is that like the same Himalayan salt that I use when I smoke food? Is that the? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and they have the little <laughs> lamps. Yeah, relate everything back to food. I could do this. Let's yeah. Go. See. Yeah. See, it's good for you. Yeah, that's what I go with. That's <laughs> the hot stone package. You're on it, Shane. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I do the hot brisket package. That's the the yep. Hot brisket. <laughs> <laughs> well. I really enjoyed talking to you. Uh, I hope it wasn't too rough talking with me instead of Jansen. He's probably a little more uh, clued in on the eyebrow world and things like no, that. No, it's great. So. Just a little confusing because Shane on the Jansen show, but thank yeah. you for having us. I'm going to try us. and get an addendum on there. It's like the <laughs> Jansen and, and the Shane show. show. Yep. <laughs> we're going to uh, have to switch it up again. Yep. Right. Very good. So hopefully Jansen will be back soon. Uh, wish you guys all the best as you guys do new stuff. Uh, let Christy know she'll probably come out, check oh, it out, cool. support you guys. She was She's she had great. an absolute blast out there when she went out and visited you. So yeah, I know she needs to come to Christy, get eyebrows. Go get your eyebrows <laughs> or your power brow or uh, <laughs> power brows. <laughs> power brows <laughs> the power brows, yeah, not powder. <laughs> no, nah, we're changing the whole name You'll right now. It's powerful. no longer powder. They are power, power. brows. <laughs> so. Appreciate you guys very right, much. Thank uh, you. Very fun to thank see people you. going out and doing their own thing and being successful. So yes, congratulations thank and you. thank you, Jennifer. And Thanks thank for you, inviting Liddell. us, Jeff. Uh, thank yeah. you. Take us out thank of you here, for Jeff. being on. Okay, we're out of here. We're gone. Okay, I got <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we're out.